You were awake. You were. You were. Yeah, watching but I was dozing in and out of sleepiness. I was watching a film. Hannah was asleep. The little one was asleep next door. Mm. And I'm crashing out. And I could smell something plasticky, and I thought oh, that might be the Kindle that the, 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 the kid was watching or the iPad. So I've gone next door to check. Mm. That was all fine. So I'm walking around the flat. I could still smell this plastic, but it weren't, weren't too strong, and I couldn't make out where it was coming from. So I went into the kitchen as I was up. I opened the window to have a cheeky cigarette before I went back to bed. And I could hear someone shouting outside, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger, it's getting nothing. And some reason I could start to smell the smell even more. Mm -hmm. And then panic sat in, so I've gone to the front door, I've checked through the spy hole, and there's smoke everywhere. Oh, gosh. So now I know it's serious. I've opened the door, I see a couple of neighbours and a fireman, he was panicking, going, get out of the flat, get out of the flat. So I've ran inside, I've woke Hannah up, gone next door, got fear, put me dressing gown, and I put fear under my arms and wrapped her head in the dressing gown because the smoke was coming up. Yeah. We've left the flat, we're running down the stairs. We're, we was on the seventh floor and the fire started on the fourth floor. So as we're going down the stairs, it's getting hotter and hotter and darker and darker. As we've got to the fourth floor, you couldn't see your hand in front of you. So frightening. And the heat was intense, but luckily we got out. And when we were outside the block watching, it was just going up like it was wool on the, on the house that had been lit. It was just yeah. within 15 yeah. minutes, the whole tower was, was at blaze. And I was literally two minutes from sleeping. There was no fire alarm. The fire alarm didn't start going off until 4 a.m. Mm. Loud that you could hear outside. But inside, it was like a just the slightest noise. Mm. There was no ventilation in the fire escape. When we was outside, I was standing next to someone that helps us with like young Fia, because yeah. we was all literally in our pajamas and Fia was half asleep. And he goes, look, if you come round to my girlfriend's flat, we can put her in there and she's safe. There's other kids there, so we've done that. When we've gone back round, we're standing there, everyone's on their phones. And some guy's saying, my friend's up on the 19th floor, we can't get out, the fire escape's a light, the fire escape's a light, you can't, someone's got to get him. And it was, it was just horrific people jumping out of windows and... No, a lot of things so has been said oh. about... Um, we were just discussing it, the, the cladding on the, yeah. on the outside. Yeah, the cladding. Were you guys worried about that? I mean, a lot of times you have um, a, a renovation a, a, of a building and, and you think, oh, that's good, it looks looks better now, it, it looks apart, nice. Yeah. And you've just been in there, you you just finished doing your yeah. flat up. You've got, we've got pictures of, of Thea inside. Yeah. You know, it it looks nearly there, you know, there's a couple of finishing touches to do, but it was nigh on done. Uh, absolutely, you know, absolutely lovely, just finishing it. So, so when you get the outside inside, of the building... The flat. Yeah, there's little Thea. Um, do, were you aware of what had been put up out there? Well, yeah, I could see it, and, and I always said to Hannah, I goes, it looks nice, I goes, but, but that don't look too safe, you know, I mean, it was the only block around the area that had that stuff, and if you felt it, it felt plasticky, so I thought, that's just like plastic around it, and there was foam inside of it, mm. and only about a month earlier, there was a fire in Trellick Tower, which you could see from our flat, and it was contained to one flat, and put out, same thing in Shepherd's Bush, there was a fire contained to one flat, everyone was saved. But oh, when it started on the fall, from within 15 minutes, the whole block was alight, yeah. and all the cladding was falling off. So, what did you said to uh, to the to the landlords? Because uh, once again, you know, the, as a collective, as a group of people, there was obvious concern about the safety of this building, Hannah. Yeah, yeah, but there, there was there was. I personally, I, I didn't mention it to the um, to the council, but yeah. um, I know the people. And there was more of this thing going about. There was there was there was letters going about which they were more concerned about getting a concierge on the door rather than putting sprinklers in. There was no sprinklers in there. There was no, there was no fire alarms, proper ones. So, you know, I mean, why isn't there fire? Extinguishers? So, no, there weren't no extinguishers on landings or nothing like that. We had a fire alarm in our flat. So hopefully, I mean, if it did, if the it smoke did, yeah, it would have eventually um, gone off. But so by then, you couldn't have got out the fire escape. So this is so still very early days, and I imagine very raw. it's still very raw for both of you, just coming to terms with what what's happened, starting to rebuild your life. Like, where do you begin? Because Hannah, that was your home, that was yeah, Thea's home, fun. and she keeps asking when when you can go home. Doesn't oh, she? How do you explain that to a five-year-old? You? you know. So what have you said to her? Because she's all her toys. Well, I told her last night when she was asking me, Mickey, when are we going home? And I said, I don't think we're going to be going back to that flat, darling. You know, you have to go and stay with your daddy or your nanny for a little while while we get sorted out, and then and we'll how, all be back together. How is she? She's still in the shock. She's in shock, but she's taking it well, isn't she? she? Yeah. You know, she's only five, and she's she's a very good character. You know, she's very happy and joyful. She's surprisingly so. resilient. And yeah, they are resilient. <laughs> so. What happens to you now? Because you weren't insured, were you? No, nothing no, was insured. Nothing was insured. So we've got to start from scratch. We've got to start from scratch again. And only last December, I was involved in a hit and run accident where I ended up with a bleed on the brain, broken ribs. I was out of work for months and I went on the sick. Then I come off of it, started to work again, got all my tools together, got the cards to go back to work because oh, you need God. all different cards. All that's been burnt. So all the, all the stuff to go back to work, so all, all, you know, gone. And what's the next step then? What have you been told? I mean, well, at this, at this point, there's a the lot area, of families affected. And there was, and there was TPM, IODs, the authority that run Kensington and Chelsea. And because in the early hours, we were told by the, the um, 
by the police to go down to Chelsea and Westminster House, and this was at 4 a.m. and they said there'll be emergency people there. Get down there now, there'll be hundreds of people there in the morning, and hopefully you can get some at the station. When we went down there, they said, no, we've sent people up there, so we had to get back up there. Mm. And then we spoke to some people and they said, just wait in this in this community centre and we're, we're, we're going around because we've got so many people to deal with. We're going to try and get you all house. There will definitely be some kind of emergency accommodation tonight. So. And you don't know where you'll be tonight yet? Well, it's Kensington, apparently. I ran the oh, Kensington area hotel in Kensington. Just waiting to find out. But it's a one bedroom. They said they put an extra bedroom in there for fear and, mm. you know, but it's just... The community so were incredible. Oh, un the, unbelievable. The community to just rallied together because even when we come out, I had no shoes yeah. on. She was in her knickers and her, in a her T-shirt straight away. People with this bag of clothes put this on, yeah. come round to the house, you know. But so we yeah, got fear incredible. safe, and I go just I can't sit here. I need to go round there, and you know you can't just. Mm. I go just we've got to go and see what's happening. Well, you've got to hope that that you, know, that you guys will all be given preferential treatment when it comes to bank cards. Yeah, um, but exactly, but and, and also my always. passport was burnt. See, if I go to the bank with no with no bank card, they say we've got no idea passport or driving license. That's all burnt. You know, so now we've got now we were talking about that this morning. Now mm. we're going to deal with it all. Well, I, we just sending you so much love. Thank, Thank you. goodness you were awake. Yeah, yeah exactly. there, but for the grace of God.